All right, let's dive deeper into intermittent fasting. Now, I always look at diets in terms of highest and best. Is this better than something I've done in the past or could potentially do in the future? Am I going to put on muscle, lose body fat, obviously make progress? And in terms of that, intermittent fasting, pretty damn good. Almost perfect. Almost. Now, for those of you that are new to intermittent fasting, just think of it as limiting the window you get to eat in a 24-hour period. And that comes with a ton of benefits. Obviously, you're putting less tax on your system. There's anti-aging benefits, detoxifying benefits, and that should matter, but it doesn't because we got superficial goals to chase. And there's a ton of different ways to do it. Let me give you my experience. Now, some of the more popular ways, 16-8, 18-6, that's great for the general population, losing a ton of body fat. That's going to be a, a good place to start. But for me, I can never justify sitting there still fasting when I'm up and there's another four hours before I go to bed and not having a protein shake because that for me got me better results. Now when you get into the more extreme end like the 20 to 4, 18 to 2 or the warrior which is just one single meal and that's all you get, that's where my interest started to get peaked because I can actually feel the difference there. At that 20 hour mark I was starving and I noticed even when I cheated and messed up and just carb loaded like crazy and just ate nothing but pancakes for four hours straight, there wasn't really a negative effect to it. I woke up the next day sometimes even a little bit leaner. But this is where we're going to run into a problem because it's easy to stay relatively lean when you eat in that small window, even if you eat like an asshole. But to put on any muscle whatsoever, you're going to be banging your head against the wall. Because think about how hard it is for your body to process, let's say, 200 grams of protein in a day. Now you're going to condense that all down into a two-hour window or even one meal. It's not going to happen. And don't think I'm just hating on this because it seems like every fitness YouTuber is preaching this right now and I want to be contrarian. That's not the case. I wish it worked better. I liked having a period during the day where I was happy, full, had a smile on my face. It just doesn't work that well. Unless you're striving for an athletic build. In that case, let me tell you the best way to do it. For me, best results I got, 22 and 2. So 22 hour fast, 2 hour window. You break the fast with a high protein shake, 75 grams of protein wait about an hour, and then have your big calorie dense meal. And in terms of timing and where to fit your eating window, I always saw best results, putting it right before bed. Now, fat results didn't really matter. Where I put it in the day, that always seemed to be the same. But in terms of being able to sleep, eating before bed made a huge difference. Trying to go to bed hungry just doesn't work for me. Now, in terms of training, you would think working out and having your eating window right after that would be the best bet. But I didn't notice much of the difference between that and then working out in the morning, fasted, just nothing in my system, waiting all day and eating at night. There was really no big significant change there because I think at that point, your body's just holding on to whatever muscle mass you have. So best bet for you, test it out yourself. How in the hell did I already sweat through? What's this side so sweaty? That's up. So in my experience, intermittent fasting gets you about 80% of the way there. From there, you got to tweak, make things hard again, start suffering, all the fun stuff that most people don't want to do. So as always, like, subscribe to the notification bell, leave a comment on the video I'm going to do next, and get after it, get growing. I'll talk to you soon.